Hey everybody, uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go into your project settings right here. And we're going to go right here where it says boot splash. So make sure you're in general boot splash. Then we're going to click this little file icon right here and go select whatever image you want to be your boot splash. I actually should probably show you real quick. I mean, you all know this, but you run there that is right. Um, and we go here and just change it to this image. And now we run it. And you see we've got that loading image. Now the other thing that is probably important to know is that it will uh, scale the image to fit. So here I have one that's smaller, right? I made it 50% smaller. And uh, if we go ahead and load this one, it's blurry like that a little bit. Uh, and so I'd imagine if you make it bigger, it would probably be fine. But you know, making it smaller is an issue. And the way you avoid that is in whatever editor you're using, if you're using Krita, which is a nice free alternative to Photoshop or Photoshop, what you want to go ahead and do is make sure that you make a new document. And when you do that, you set it to whatever your project setting window uh, sizes, or, you know, you go command I here and, and change that to be uh, whatever your window size is. In case you don't know what that is, it's just project, project settings, go down here to window. And there it is, there's the window size, not whatever your test width and height is, whatever your size is right here. Um, again, you could probably make it bigger and get away with it. Okay, so now I'm going to really quickly just walk you through basically setting a, a really basic one up. So we're going to be doing 2D in this game. Uh, go to project settings, and we're going to be in iPhone resolution. So we're going width 1080, height 1920, and then I'm changing the test width here uh, to be these settings. So that way, when I run the game, it actually displays on the screen because at those resolutions, it would be bigger than the screen. Um, so what I said before applies. Go ahead and go to Photoshop. If you're making a new file, we'd be making it for, um, sorry, this is wrong, 1020 by, or I'm sorry, 1080 by 1920. Uh, and then your resolution should be, you know, whatever's appropriate for you, I think. I find that 300 works pretty well. And that's going to be what we're doing. So now I'm going to go ahead and just save this as a PNG. Command Shift Save here. And, um, is a PNG image. Now, uh, we'll, I'll just go ahead and save this if we go to Godot code. And uh, this is named plugin testing boot splash image. And then uh, fishbowl boot splash save. And I've got one there, but I'm just going to replace it with this one. So we've got this image now. Now we can come back into Godot here. Um, so this is our original scene. And if we go to project settings, and again, just go to boot splash, add this boot splash image and choose that. Okay, now if we go ahead and save the scene and run it, does that and then does that, right? So it shows the boot splash here, but then goes immediately to this because we've selected this as our main scene. So if we go to project settings, run, um, this is our main scene right here. Now, if we want this to look nice and smooth like I had in the intro, we're gonna go ahead and click full rect here. And uh, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can make the scene whatever you want, however you want it to appear. But the way I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to be going to, sorry, texture rect, just like that. Um, and then we're going to just get our boot splash image and click and drag the texture we want. It just snaps beautifully right there. Now, if we save the scene and run it, you can't even tell that it actually switched from the, the screen there to this the uh, boot splash screen, I should say. And this, you know, opens up a lot of possibilities. So essentially you could have it so when the screen starts, you have like, you know, a play button kind of appear, some, you know, stuff happens. In fact, let me show you what I've actually got going on there in the real fishbowl game. So in the real fishbowl game, I have it so that when you load up, load up the screen here, you get that and then that happens. So you can do whatever you want. And here, what I ended up actually doing was using just a white image and then having it uh, fade in. So my boot splash image here is if we go, well, I mean, this is it, blank startup, right? It's just this white image. So it, it um, go to project, project settings, boot splash, just as plain white boot splash. All right, and that, because that's just some image that I made in Photoshop at the, the right project settings. And then uh, it just fades into the title screen. And so that's that. All right, so now I'm just gonna walk you through how I made this boot splash, which I'll, I'll go ahead and run it for you guys again. Does that little animation, and then takes you into my game here. 
And so all this is is what we did before, right? So you've got a, a uh, image, which is going to be our boot splash image. Um, and then you've got this scene, right? So that's what we're adding on top is the scene in between our title screen, which is this. And this is just the scene that has the animations and stuff. So uh, as you can see right here, I've got a boot splash image in Photoshop. Again, save to the height and width of the um, game window that I want to display on, which is 960 by 960 in this case. And I go over to project, project settings. And if we go to boot splash, it's, this is this one right there. And then what we need to do next is make whatever scene you want to be after that, right? So this is lined up perfectly with this scene. And this is the scene that has the Godot light flicker and, you know, the sparks, which is just particles 2D. This is an animated sprite. And then, you know, Godot is just a uh, some text that I tweened using a, a bounce tween, right? And uh, that, we're going to save that scene. And then we're going to go to run and go to startup scene and save it there. So that's going to be this scene, right? Mine's technically this one, which is just a blank screen, but there's just for all your intents and purposes, use this as the um, as your run main scene. And then basically when this scene is done, so when it's done animating, right, whatever you did, for me it's, when, I believe it's, um, well, it's actually this timer, which I set up. So I know when this timer's done that, you know, everything's happened, the particles are flying, flying, they flew, and uh, it's all over. And then when this times out, so I went ahead and used this timer on timeout, we go ahead and, and I connected this timeout timer to Godot script, or uh, Godot startup screen script. And then right here I have on timeout change scene, basically. This is, you know, this isn't exactly the code you would use, right? Um, because this is, you know, I'm using like a, another node I have that changes the scene for me, but it's basically just, you know, a little get tree dot change scene, and then you add that. And so that happens after it. And so this is really a scene that only serves to animate. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this uh, scene and script and this image in the description so you can use it in your games if you want. Just go ahead and pay me in a like or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to hear from me. Any questions you've got about this, I'd be happy to explain. I'll be pretty good in the comments. Uh, other than that, you know, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.